125 years ago, the foundations were laid for what today is the fifth oldest law firm in the state and the third largest. We've grown as Queensland has grown. At 24 years of age, a young man named Ernest Alexander Milford set up the first legal practice in Cairns. The legal practice opened by Milford in 1884 became known as Milford, Hobbs and McDonnell when Adam McDonnell bought the business in 1889. The premises was in Abbott Street in a modest, single-storey brick building. For more than 60 years, a member of the McDonnell family remained a senior partner of the firm. Adam's brother, Henry McDonnell, was with the firm until 1966. Some of the early clients of the firm included Chinese Hopwa Syndicate, Alfred Street, one of the city's first storekeepers, Burns Philp, the Mulgrave Mill, the Cairns Post, the Municipal Borough of Cairns. In 1889, the Municipal Borough of Cairns paid McDonald's Law an annual retainer of five guineas. By the early 1900s, Milford, Hobbs and McDonald had offices in virtually every outlying town and centre from Port Moresby to Innisfail and west to Chiligo. In 1905, McDonald bought a block at 26 Abbott Street for £300, which was the firm's premises for the next 80 years. This was later sold to the Cairns Post when McDonald's Law moved to 22 Spence Street. In 1919, Adam sold his interest in the firm and went to the bar in Townsville. Henry McDonald became president of the Cairns Chamber of Commerce in 1928. The depression loomed in 1929 and Henry McDonald said, Any man who has any sense of civic responsibility cannot view with equanimity the very serious financial outlook facing Australia at present day. And it is obvious to all that in the present year, there will be great financial stringency throughout the length and breadth of this land, bringing in its train poverty and unemployment. In 1931, McDonald's Law drafted the widely respected and innovative Sugarcane Act, traces of which can be found in the sugar legislation, which still applies today. The firm experienced tremendous growth from the 1960s with six partners who moved the firm into the modern era. These partners were Henry MacDonnell, Sir Thomas Kavakovich, the first person knighted in Cairns, Jack Bell, Alan McGuinness, Norman Brown and Hal Westaway. The firm expanded in the 1990s to include a number of new faces, many of which are still with the firm today. In 1999, the Cairns office moved into the premises they are at today, the corner of Shields and Grafton Streets. The Brisbane office also opened in George Street in 1999. In 2004, McDonald's Law in Brisbane merged with Lee's Marshall Warnick, a firm established in the 1970s, and moved into new offices in Queen Street. In 2006, the Brisbane office expanded again, joining with O'Mara's lawyers. In 2000, the Townsville office opened a small serviced office on Denham Street and later, after outgrowing several smaller office spaces, moved to new premises in the Channel 7 building on Denham Street. In 2006, McDonald's Townsville merged with Southers Taylor. In recent news, the firm has drawn much strength from its regional presence, evidenced by a jump of 13 placed in one year to its significant ranking of 78 in the Q400 list of top Queensland private businesses in 2008. The firm was admitted to Meritas, an international network of law firms, giving its clients immediate access to a network of expert legal advisors worldwide. In 2008 and 2009, the Brisbane office was recognised as a finalist in the Australasian Law Awards category for Brisbane Law Firm of the Year. McDonald's Law has had a long history of community involvement, engaging in the grassroots of many iconic Queensland charitable institutions. Our partners and staff volunteer with local organisations, charities and not-for-profit entities nearly every day. In celebrating 125 years of legal service to the Queensland community, we acknowledge the enormous contribution of the many people who over the years have helped to build the McDonald's Law family. We're now a strong team of 25 partners and over 100 lawyers in three offices across Queensland. We look forward to the next 125 years. Thriving, driven, confident.